Hello, my name is Simon and welcome to the Retro News Roundup. To start this episode, Nintendo revealed the next set of N64 titles being brought to the Switch. And there's one in particular that caught our golden eye. That's right, the much-loved James Bond tie-in is coming to the Switch, and with online multiplayer too. Other games announced included Mario Parties Aplenty, Excite Bike 64, 1080 Snowboarding, Pilot Wings, and even Pokemon Stadiums 1 and 2, all arriving in 2023, although Nintendo were very quick to confirm that monsters cannot be transferred to the latter, which seems like a missed opportunity to me. The Switch and PS4 got five new Arcade Archive titles between them last month. Pack and Pal, Champion Wrestler, Rompers, Assault, and The Return of Ishtar, as well as Radical Rex, Cubite Classics, also arriving on the PS5 as well. Finally, Commandos 2 and 3 HD Remaster Double Pack invaded the Switch. Pre-orders are now open for the Sega Mega Drive Mini 2 in the UK via Amazon, with the console having a price tag of £105, which currently translates as about $105 US dollars. It will be released in short supply on October the 27th. MSX Dev 2 threw up some new titles last month, no fewer than six in fact. Mahon Morn, Shadow of the Pig, Bounce Mania, Sales Discontinued, Buffanada, and Automania. The MSX was still outdone by the ZX Spectrum in September though, it got seven games. Frantic Pango 2, Mr. Hare's A Very Hairy Remix, G Volcano, Gerbert Groundhog in Save the Date, Zombie Mall, Don Quixote, Alien Astro Frenzy, and Hex 2. The Speckies 8-bit rival, the Commodore 64, got three new titles last month. Subchase 64, T-Rex, and Balloon Fight. Then a trio of games for the Amiga, Croker, D-Rex the Drunk Dinosaur, and a 30th anniversary edition of Dynatech. Next, three titles for the Amstrad CPC, Car Racer, Spaceman Curl, and Transylvania Castle. Then to round things off, Intellivania haunted the Intellivision, Black Sea Treasure Hunters was uncovered on the Master System, and finally Electrobots going underground was dug up on both the Acorn Electron and BBC Micro. Just one piece of news for this segment, and it's that a final version of Flash Beer, a Commodore 64 game that was originally only released as a leaked beta, has turned up online. Three English language fan translations were completed last month, two of them for NES titles, Magic Madness and Penguin Kun Wars. The other was for Po Po Lo Croy Monogatari for the PlayStation, and yes, I know I've pronounced that last one wrong. In any case, that's all for this episode. Sorry for the delay, I was getting married. I therefore dedicate this episode to Charlotte, otherwise known as The Hand in my Boxel video. But what are your thoughts on GoldenEye's long-awaited return to a Nintendo system? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to also like, share, subscribe, and stay safe. I'll see you again very soon. Their weak point is oxygen!